and oh, stop. Yes. Beautiful. Great response. That's what did Bunnell in the first round when he got staggered. He launched an all-out assault and he's out cold and Terry O'Connor has waved that off. Well, that answers some questions, doesn't it? That was a cracking right hand from Bunnell, and that really hurt Patterson. Too. Look at that. Oh, a big clubbing right hand. Look, he, he's already stunned. Stunned again. See how he just stood there, Nick. He just he was sort of that trouble right down to his feet yeah. before he realised. Took everything. Just Crack after he landed that right yep. hand as well. Oh, brilliant stuff. Oh, cracking stuff. Stop punching from both guys, showing so much heart. But as you said, Nicky, and, and the way I see it, oh well, wow. I mean that's it, it's gone. He is not getting up from that shot. Massive right hand over the top. The trainer's in the ring. The whipping right hand over the top. Left hook there. There comes the hook, and he's in a position really to throw that right hand over. He gets a full body weight behind it, and bam. And when you see the head bounce on the canvas, you know there's no getting up. Here's that right hand straight on the back. Stahl is a pressure fighter. Oh! Well, it, Tommy Peacock is clean out here. He and is what not he hit being held. Count. They were in a clinch there. I don't know whether the referee had told them to break. It'll be interesting to see what happen, happens here. Here we see the slow mo. Just those rabbit punches on the back of the head. You see him come through with that right hook. Elbow followed right through then, it was a classic shot. And really Very short. He was out before he'd hit the floor. His feet shouldn't be uh, as wide apart because he's obviously still thinking he can kick here because they have to place their feet in a certain... Oh! My. Well, hey, there we are now. That was absolutely incredible. Did you see that? Well, it was just about to say, pole axed. Now, I don't know whether that was actually a punch or a throw it looked to be a clash we'll have to have a look at that again i i didn't actually see it the yeah. pole's coming forward through another it was a big overhand right but it didn't look as if it was a, a devastating punch it just what here we're seeing it from another angle what's the what's the what's the right hand see it was a big clubbing right hand but it didn't look as if it was a, a devastating punch well and he's really really out flat he's out cold. Big effort from Leslie, or has he really got that second wind? And is he going to come on strong in the last few rounds of this contest? Bingham on the back foot and getting caught. And again. This is Leslie's best round since the opening exchanges. Certainly is, Jim. There's definitely been a change of the plot here. Oh, oh one big left hook. Well, we shouldn't have spoken at all. It was one of those classic uh, punches that ended the contest without a single shadow of a doubt. What's coming from him in these first couple of rounds? And equally, I think Osman definitely got shaken up by that left that whistled past his uh, chops. So he's very respectful of his opponent's power. Good shots landing, and it was the left that got him. Oh, that is a big left hook. Osman's going to do well to get up from this. This is new territory for Hussein Osman, and he can't get up. The legs are disobeying him. That's why they call him the Rocket Locket. That's a pretty tough fighter. He's just put on the floor. Let's look at this combination, and it's the left that finishes him. There we see him land a good right hand there. Comes through that left hand right on the point of the chin, and Osman was never going to beat that look, count. Look how the legs collapse from under him as well. The instinct, the, the warrior's instinct is to get up, but he just can't do it. There we see that right hand and comes right through. And there's the fifth. Yeah, if I was in Hintrigger's corner, I'd be telling him to keep it at long range. Oh, oh big here hook we there. go. Here we go. This has been coming. I think he's done. He's out. Good grief. Big left hook right at the beginning of the round. Hintrigger just switched off for a second and. Flush on the chin, and what a finish. Injury getting on his people. Oh, Look at that heck left of a shot, up. wasn't it? Heck of a shot. Flush on the chin. Hintrager was moving on to the shot as well. And he's out cold, isn't he? From another angle, 
bam! You see, he was out before he hit the floor there. Amazingly, the referee carried on counting. You can see that man was never going to beat the count. Yeah, super shot. Long time coming, but when it landed, look at the damage it did. Really, another a difficult round to score. Neither man really landed a clean shot. It's messy, isn't it? I was just about to say, as you said, that it is such a messy affair, this. Oh, nothing messy about that. Oh, from nowhere, the left hand. And I don't think Jones is going to get up. No, he's certainly not going to get up from that. A big left hand over the top, just as Jones switched he the knows. southpaw. He knows he's got it. At the fourth time of asking, Adrian Dodson is a world champion. You see Dodson just pouring out with his right hand and really loading up with that left hand over the top. Silky was never going to beat that count. Spun Again. him round with the force of it, didn't they? Look at that. Really did, right on the point of the chin. He's happy to hit on the counter-attack, Sellers, as well. Oh, got him. And he's not getting up this time. That's it. That was a massive right hook. Cole Thompson is not no, going to beat this done. count. It stopped. Let's take a look at it there. Flush in the chin. Lovely shot. And look at the way he fell. He was never going to beat that count. Everything went. From another angle. Perfectly delivered. You can hear Steve Smoker talk about why he stopped the count. And frankly, Steve Smoker was absolutely right to stop the count because... You could have stopped it right there. He's... Seems to be a real big effort now. He looked really tired. And we're only in the third round. But they're big, big, big men. And he'll know that that combination hurt Hobson, but he looks exhausted to me. Oh, that's it. what a right hand. Bang on the chin. Down he goes, and he's not getting up. Well, just before that punch. Moran's arms were by his side, Dave. He was absolutely exhausted. And you just hope he's okay right now. It was a crack and shot. It really was. Shot. But it was coming, wasn't it? Yeah. You knew it was coming. I hope, I mean, look, he's absolutely out on his feet there. Look where, they, look where the gloves are. You can't yeah. even see them. Bang. And that was six foot five. Russ, bang on the chair. Got the considerable height advantage. Six foot four. But Bannister knows he's gone up against a man who hasn't won as a professional and had a pretty patchy amateur career as well. Box while he was in the RAF. Oh, and the left hook's got him. Oh, and that one's over. Shot, yeah, well, I'll tell you what. That was a big shot. And Fisk is, Fisk is absolutely out cold. Well, let's see if we can take another look at it. It was the left. Just as Fisk was coming in, bam, straight on the bottom. There it is again, and with the heavies, when you connect, it's lights out, isn't it? Yes. Crunch defending his Commonwealth lightweight title against Paul Kayoma. We're scheduled for 12 rounds. Spencer Oliver predicts it could go a long way. Oh, it won't if that one connected that was as a clean as it looks. Up what up. a shot, I think he's done. He's not going to get up from that. You see the legs are playing up. He really and John is Coyle hurt. has stopped the count. John Coyle knew immediately that Paul Kaoma needed assistance, not a 10 count. That was a bomb. Now we can take another look. Oh. Really, like I said, travelled no further than six to eight inches. It was like the Richard Williams shot we saw earlier on, except for it was an uppercut. And Wham got all his body weight behind it. You see him, all the body weight behind it. And Kaoma was really out before he hit the floor. When he's got the freedom to move, he can be effective, but he just... Well, they wobble each other, and down goes Eccleston, dramatically, in the third round. And that was a really heavy fall. The count gets to eight. He's unsteady on his legs. And what a turnaround here. Both foot hurt, and it's become a real dust-up. And Beach is going for the victory. He's laid out. Ricky Eccleston, the fight's over. And Jimmy Beach stuns the Liverpool local favourite. Now the first punch was a beauty. Now at this point, Eccleson was badly hurt, badly shaken, 
This is for a little bit of experience, but he was wide open, trying to fight back. His instincts told him to fight back, and thankfully, at the end of the day, didn't come to any harm. Everything was okay. That he can tag this fella. He's so ungainly, isn't he, Penn? Well, he really is. That little pit bull, if you like, just comes forward swinging. Look, no. No pretension about him at all, is there? Straight through again, and he's dancing on his those legs again. Oh. And it's got him. He won't get up from that. The right hand's done it. It stops Tony Green rightly stepping in on that one. Massive right hand done the job. See some cracking shots going through the right hand just previous to this. That's done the, the damage, one that did it. but that was the one. And head first and out. Tremendous he'd been, finish. He'd been caught a few times before that as well. Tremendous finish indeed. Well, Slavnowski hasn't uh, done any damage, or doesn't do any damage in this round. I don't think he'll do a big lot of damage in the last round. Well, there's the little left that had Cook holding on. Oh, oh he got him at Black last. And red uppercut, beautiful. That's it, it's over. He's out cold. Absolutely out cold. An emphatic way to finish a fight. Look at this. Oh my word, unbelievable. He didn't bend over as much as what I thought, but and he got caught clean. I tell you what, Sosnowski was unconscious, I think, before he even hit the floor there, Dave, and he's, yeah. in, he's in a bad, bad way.